Hey guys, it's Dresden, and welcome back to another and probably my last episode on Forza Horizon 4, at least one of my last episodes. Uh, in this episode, I've been saving up a lot of wheel spins for challenges that we did not have time to do. Um, so I have lots of super wheel spins and normal wheel spins, and we're going to go ahead and do all those now. Um, of course, I'm in the McLaren Senna, the cover car for the game. Because I thought that was fitting. I just went and bought a new one. And I mean, it's a pretty car. Very pretty car. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start with the normal wheel spins first. And if you don't know what wheel spins are, I, it's basically just like a slot machine. Where it just spins and goes ahead. And you see what you get. So we got $60,000. Fifteen thousand dollars. I could try to talk, but it's okay. Maybe at some point. A golf GTI sixteen V Mark two. Uh, so ten thousand dollars. I have a few of those. Oh, a Kia Stinger. That's nice. Have a few of those. Twenty three grand from that guy. Now the normal wheel spins aren't exactly as cool as the super wheel spins, there's 40 grand. Just because the super wheel spins have three vehicles or three slots instead of one. So we'll look more forward to that. I think that said five grand, I don't know, I didn't pay attention to that. Um, five grand, ten grand. We're, we're not having the best luck uh, with these here super wheel sp or normal wheel spins, sorry. Hey, I got pants. That might be like the last clothes I need to own all the clothes because I'm real close to getting all the clothes owned in this game. Ooh, 2018 Mustang GT. I have a few, but that's nice. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep her spinning. 30,000 credits. I'll take that, I guess. Better than five. And two more, we get a... Okay, we don't get the Jaguar. We get five grand. That's a little sad, but it's okay. And the final wheel spin. Normal wheel spin, rather. $2,000. How awesome is that? Alright, super wheel spin time. And we have 14 of these. So we'll go ahead and get started on those. And first one we get just a bunch of money. I mean, that's not a bad amount of money. But it's just money. I could I could do with some some vehicles of some sort. There we go, like a Maserati A6 GCS. I don't think I've ever gotten that before. Nope. Okay, that's not bad. McLaren 720S and a Ford Fiesta RS. We'll go ahead and keep that. I didn't have the Ford, so that's cool. All right, 20,000, 10,000, and a Mazda MX-5. I'll just add everything to my garage at this point, because why not? And like I said, this probably won't be the last episode in this game, but it will be one of them, because most... Wow, that's three 5,000s in a row. That is, like, the worst thing you can get. Um, Because I'm going to go ahead and do some... Uh, a lot more Forza Horizon 5. We have Volkswagen, Forza Edition. Um, I pre-ordered Forza Horizon 5, and I got the Premium Edition, which means I get it four days early, so expect videos on that very soon. Actually, the day I upload this, um, the game will come out tomorrow, so that's pretty good. BMW M6 and a Mercedes-Benz AMG C. The game comes out tomorrow. So expect a video on it either tomorrow or the next day. I'm pretty hyped for it taking place in Mexico. Hopefully the video is not too laggy. If it is, I'll still upload it. Trying to figure that all out. Might just need to upgrade parts of my computer, but I'm trying to solve the lag issues. That's not bad. I'm um, trying to solve the lag issues. So I guess we'll just, well, I mean, we'll see what happens with the lag. And I can use this game to test out the lag to see what all is going on. 
Okay, well, we didn't get the Lamborghini, but we got a nice M4. Three more. I think the pink shirt's like the only other clothing item I need, because that's all I've seen. We got a 1995 Corvette. Oh, and there's a black shirt. Okay, just some money and final super wheel spin. Hey, we got the black shirt and some money. All right. Let's go ahead and look at some other things now, uh, since we have time. What is the Forza Thun shop? Okay. Well, I don't really need any of those. I have 1,100 Forza Thun points, so that's not bad. Alright, so I think I have one more thing to do in this episode. And I'm actually going to switch into... Uh, I don't know. I'm going to switch into a random car. Try to find one of my favorite cars. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys watch me pick so you can see all of the cars I own in this game. Because there's... Uh, there's a lot of them. There's like 900 of them. Uh, lots of rare cars. Lots of one-time releases or few time releases um my favorite car right here 918 porsche spider one of my favorites my favorite porsche lots of nice things here um i don't want to take something too fast i want to cruise so we'll go ahead hopefully the cruise isn't too laggy we'll pick like a s1 or an a class vehicle maybe even something i've never driven before and all these new are weird because i Got my account reset, so... Oh, look, I remade my dad's car. That's actually really close. Like, really close. Anyway, um... We'll go ahead and pick... Something. That g g give me a sec. I got, I got a lot of cars to look through. <laughs> Alright, so it took a bit, but I decided on this very nice Bugatti Chiron. Um, I think it's fully stock, which is okay by me. Now, what we're going to do is something I have not done in this game ever, and that is purchase the Edinburgh Castle, the most expensive player house in the game, like in the entire game. We're going to go ahead and go buy it, and we're going to drive there, and I will keep the entire drive in this video and talk to you a bit um, about the future for Forza games starting off with of course Forza Horizon 4 like I said this will probably not be the last episode that I release on Forza Horizon 4 and I may do like live streams and stuff on it but for now um this is the last video I will release on Forza Horizon 4 and there's a possibility that it's the last video I will ever release on Forza Horizon 4 unless I want to play with like some buddies who don't have five um, but I don't play with many people, because I don't have many people to play with. So, if you guys do want to, you know, play some Forza, let, let me know. Um, anyway, yeah, I just hit some chickens. So, Forza Horizon 5, of course, coming out tomorrow. Very excited for it. First video won't be for at least one day, possibly a few, depending on my schedule. Um, with school and... I'm on my school swim team, so there's a lot of uh, time usage there. I don't have a lot of free time. But I will try to get a video to you off of Forza Horizon 5 as soon as I can. Um, and I will play a lot of it. With the lag, I'm going to try to figure out the lag situation on Forza Horizon 4. So that when I get into Forza Horizon 5, it's not that bad. I'm going to try moving some files, maybe, and I don't know. I mean, I don't really know what else I could do to fix it. I've updated my drivers. The only other thing I could do is just upgrade parts of my computer, and I'm not going to do that yet because parts are so expensive at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and hold off on that. Um, but I would like to upgrade my computer some point soon. Um... Yeah, so I'm, I mean, I'm pretty excited for, uh-oh, for Forza Horizon 5 to come out. I hope you guys are too. Um, hopefully my content is up to par with other YouTubers. There's, of course, going to be some lag 
issues, but I will, like I said, try to get those situated as fast as I can. And hopefully before the game comes out, I will get those situated. Um, so we are actually almost at the castle. Now, like I said, I've never bought the Edinburgh Castle before, but I'm going to buy it now. Um, it cost, I think, 15 million credits. Thankfully, I have like 83, 82 million credits. I had more. I think I had like 84 or something that I bought that Senna. But um, we're going to go ahead and buy it now. So we are here. I don't even know if I've ever entered the purchase screen of the castle. But I guess we'll find out. Someone going to talk to me? Don't have my headphones. There they are. Ow, that was my phone on my foot. This is it. Edinburgh Castle. Technically, you'd be a patron and not a resident, and you'd still have to allow full access to the public. But hey, you're never going to forget your address again, are you? Huh. I'm just a patron. Well, that's kind of sad. Okay. Well, we bought Edinburgh Castle in our dirty Bugatti. Now it's clean now. And now, we have 10 more super wheel spins. I'm going to go ahead and time, time lapse this for you guys. Or I can skip through them. And I have two normal wheel spins. I'll skip through them and just show you what we win. So, we got the white turtleneck and a Renault Magain. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Um, super wheel spins. We have 10. I believe it's 10. Yes. 5,000, 5,000 BMW M3, okay. Some yellow shoes, 488 and 30,000. 60,000 credits. Cadillac limo, pink polo, 20,000 credits. I don't want to do that math. Again, I don't want to do that math. 30,000, a white leather jacket, and a Mustang. Not too bad. 15, 15, 25. Lots of money. Um, not the amount that we spent on the castle. But definitely a lot of it. And more money. Alright. Well. Anyway, guys. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed Forza Horizon 4 on the channel. And look forward to Forza Horizon 5. I'm going to try to change up my uh, my style with recording and stuff for Forza Horizon 5 too. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's kind of sad saying goodbye for now to the game. But of course, we will come back to it in the future. Hopefully, if I don't forget about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, this has been Dresden. And goodbye.